monster clown who is as lovable as ever loving Hulk. Hulk, Hulk. Welcome back, fellow agents. It is I, X7, your irradiated host of awesome and not angry at all today. Today we're going to talk about our last, uh, for the time being, the last issue, issue 12 in this volume. I have not got volume two yet, and we will do that later on, but I do have a certain uh, series that I'm going to do next, which is not a Marvel one, it's a semi-DC one. But today we're going to talk about what if the Hulk, what if Rick Jones had become the Hulk? Now, I do know that Rick Jones has uh, turned into a character, it's my shirt today, from the Alive 2 LP, and those are all there, you know, from the solo albums, but that's a story for another time. I do know that Rick Jones has become another Hulk himself called A-Bomb or some such nonsense, but in 19... Hold on one moment, let me get back over to my information. We're not going to talk about Rick Bomb being yet another Hulk, a Red Hulk, a Blue Hulk, a Hulkling, a Hulker, and I don't know. Two Hulks is fine. It's like two Supermen, but, you know, when you get... That's just being lazy when everybody's a Hulk now, right? So, uh, we're going to talk about... This is What If number 12, and God bless it. Now i got to go down here. Pardon me one... What If number 12... You gotta be kidding me. Stop it. There. Click the wrong link. So what if number 12, which you can see here, got the Hulk. Starts out exactly the same as the Hulk's origin, except you, uh, the Watcher talks about it. You know, we go on through, we've been through this before. But instead of Rick, of Bruce throwing Rick into the trench first, Rick throws Bruce in. So that's the whole gist of it. And as I've said in the past, one of the main problems with every Hulk adaptation, live action adaptation, and even probably some of the cartoon ones, is there's no Rick Jones. Rick Jones was the reason Bruce became the Hulk. He sacrificed his humanity, etc., and so on, to save Rick Jones. And... You know, you don't see that in any of the other ones. Rick Jones doesn't exist in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, which is very sad, I must say. But uh, so, um, as you can tell, Rick is full of jargon, contemporary jargon here, which is better than the Teen Titans ever said, or Snapper Carr from the DC Universe. I mean, it's got stuff like, unless you want to rumble which I don't know that anyone ever really said. But, I mean, the artwork here... Oh, so let's talk about the, the book here for a moment. I feel like we should always have a picture of the Hulk. Here's the cover. I bought this right away because I really did like What If quite a bit. This is number 12. Uh, the release date was September 26, 1978, with the cover date of December 1978. The art there is by Sal Busima and Joe Sinnott, so... Of course, it looks amazing. Sal was a great, a great artist. It was written by Don Glute. It's penciled by or inked by Bill Black. Penciled by Sal Buscema. You always can tell a Sal Buscema artwork. Colorist was George Russo. Lettered uh, Bruce D. Patton. And of course, Roy Thomas was the editor. Although, as you can tell, uh, you see that right here, Jim Shooter was given editor in chief status. So. Rick becomes the Hulk, not, you know, some dumb name of it. But he learns how to almost fly immediately with his jumping, which the Hulk didn't do for several issues. But then the, the day, this is back when the Hulk turned in, Rick would turn into the Hulk, and Bruce did, at nighttime. It was kind of a werewolf thing along with the Frankenstein and the Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Stan and Jack really did uh, copy a lot of things. However... Bruce finds him and says, I'm going to cure you. And puts him in. This happened, a lot of this happened in the comic book with Bruce and Rick in reverse roles. However, we don't see any of the wide variety of supervillains that the Hulk found. What happens, did the, did the gargoyle uh, just give up in the, in the Soviet Union? 
that happened in the first Hulk story. And uh, so they skip right over a bunch of stuff and go to the Avengers, the origin of the Avengers. See, there's Loki. Loki at this point in time, still in 1978, 79, was evil. He was not the god of mischief. He was the god of evil. Evil, as in fruits of the devil. There you go, Lilith. So he married an axe murderer reference. And he just, uh, so uh, they kind of have him cured there with the Gamatron or, I don't know. This happened in issue four of the Hulk, but then Loki, you know, gets him to change. All of this happens exactly the same way. The Hulk tries to save a plane, a train, or an automobile, but a train and destroys it. So, of course, they're after him. They meet. And Hulk decides that he wants to be part of the Avengers. Fortunately, uh, Tony Stark lets Bruce use his laboratory, and he zaps him in issue two. Well, this would have been issue two, their second official adventure with the Space Phantom. And he turns back into... Then he's Rick again. So he's happy, sort of. And then, I don't know, several, a while later, he's uh, he hasn't been the Hulk. He's dressed as, a, as he normally does in every comic book story. And he meets Cap. And then Cap trains him. But he doesn't bother to tell Cap one little thing that might have, you know, made him change his mind. So this all happened in early Captain America, his revival issues dressing like Bucky. I don't know, maybe on this world. What world is this? If uh, Bucky's still alive here, uh, does it say up here? Blah, blah, blah. Oh, let me get, let me move this out of the way here. Blah, blah. Um, Earth location, Earth 7812, of course, December 78. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, they're not exactly setting the world on fire. But when they're fighting Hydra, guess what happens? And Hydra is not going to beat um, <laughs> the Hulk at all. But he doesn't want Hulk's not a killer, so he leaves. And Steve's all, "Why didn't you tell me, Rick? Rick, well, a little too sensitive, New Age guy." So he finds the Mega Bands, and now he turns into Marvel's first Captain Marvel. I don't even know what Marvel's if he had a first name, but Marvel's son, Janice Marvel, had a first name. There's this Intelligence Supreme. There's a Nihilus, who we have not yet seen in any uh, other than comic book form, or maybe animated. I don't know, but he's a great looking, just great. This all takes place over the Kree Scroll War with the Avengers. Uh, you see it there. Um, maybe someday we'll review that. It's been reviewed a lot. And now he's back to being Captain Marvel and the Hulk. So let's see if I find it here. Um, this is his girlfriend. I don't know if that's Lou Sean is her name. And obviously Bruce, Bruce, Robert Bruce Banner, not David Bruce Banner, but Robert Bruce Banner is working on a cure here. So. Rick and him are transferring places. Uh, the girlfriend doesn't like it because, you know, the, the negative zone is not a place for normal people. So, okay, what have we got here? Oh, wait, I missed something here. Right here, this is a panel. I actually had this comic book from Captain Marvel 34 where he fights Nitro and he gets exposed to Compound 13, which has unfortunate consequences. But Marv's unconscious because it's deadly. And Anila shows up. Now they trade, I think the time limit was three hours where they just shift back. And now Reed is uh, working with Lu with uh, Bruce. And then there's Lushan who doesn't like it. So they know he's in the negative zone. So they need, they need Reed's help because Reed, Mr. Fantastic there, is the person who knows the negative zone the best. We've not seen the negative zone. So guess who decides that he's going to fight Annihilus, who's deadly? Uh, but then the Hulk shows up. So this is setting the stage. Um, there you go. They change Adams. Hulk doesn't like his bracelets because they didn't like the fashion statement. Does his old Samson and Goliath things. And he goes back to fight Annihilus. 
And, and we're getting to the crux of the story here. The finale, if you will, Banner zaps him and they split apart. Now, well, we'll go into this. We'll go into that in a little bit. Reed stretches out as far as he can. He's always doing that in the comic books. And grabs, grabs Rick, brings him back. And the Hulk's just fighting. He's free. He still remembers how to do karate kicks that he's been taught, or kung fu or martial arts kicks that he's been taught. But he's happy. And he knocks Annihilus um, out and back into the Nagato gun or Negato gun, whatever you want to call it. Annihilus, Annihilus kills himself. Kaboom! There he goes. I should really work on my sound effects. And that's it. So everyone's happy, and including, I mean, there's the young kids. They say if uh, Marvel talks to Banner and Rick and Lushan, and I hope that's her name, and says, if you ever need Adams to trade. And Hulk's happy there, and there's a little Jarella look-alike, kind of. So we have an episode. We have a... We have, there's the back cover. We have a what if story that everyone ends happy. Unless, of course, Captain Marvel develops cancer, which he did in the Marvel, in the main the Earth 616 universe, and dies, which is why we have had Janice Marvel, Photon being Captain Marvel, and Carol, maybe? At least three other Captain Marvels. But, um,. Here, at least at this, that was nobody knew that Captain Marvel had cancer from from the compound thirteen gas. However, if you do ever get to read the death of Captain Marvel, I highly recommend it. Um, it's really a great story, even though it ends very sadly. But it's something that you didn't ever see back then at how um, superheroes dealt with cancer. You didn't. I mean, a lot of times you just have the sudden and miraculous escape. Or, you know, they, they survive. So that's our la our wrap-up of the first run, the first two years of What If. Now, we will be I will be eventually getting the second volume, and we'll do a couple more of those stories, because I do really enjoy them. But we're going to wait for that for a while, because I don't have it. I do have the next set I'll do, and that's 12 story. It's a 12-issue limited series. And uh, I think it's good. I do have questions about this. What happened to the leader? What happened to all of the, the foes that the Hulk fought originally? And he even got himself a presidential pardon. Um, did Thunderbolt Ross give up because they kept him in prison because he wasn't quite as strong as the original Hulk? Obviously, a lot more Hulk lore has been, uh, you know, written since 1970. What did I say? 1979? Uh, 1978, at the end of 1978, really. There would only be one more issue before it turned to 79. However, there's no leader, no abomination. Did these people not come, did the villains not come into creation? What about the Defenders? There's no Hulk to join the, offend, the Defenders, the Offenders. I mean, what happened uh, with uh, Silver Surfer and Namor and Doctor Strange? Did another Hulk show up? I mean, what, what gave uh, Thunderbolt Ross his reason to tray? I mean, he was a lot like a clone of J. Jonas Jameson, really, which uh, doesn't really work more than once, which is why the Hulk was canceled, canceled in his first magazine after six issues. So he was a guest star in, or he and Giant Man, maybe? I don't know. Tales of Suspense? I don't even know. Never been a big Hulk reader. I know that Wolverine got a start there and lots of things. And he, they somehow they managed to take it, you know, make it the Hulk smash simpleton Hulk work. Again, never a fan. But never a big fan. I, I like a smarter Hulk who is not just, you know, Hulk smash. It's fun, but even the Marvel Cinematic Universe expanded upon it and did went to Professor Hulk and... I know we're going to get the Red Hulk, and I know that it's going to be voiced by Harrison Ford. You know, that makes it really difficult not to want to go see it because Harrison Ford's great. But it was so easy to know who the Red Hulk was, you know, when it was supposed to be a, a mystery. It wasn't. <laughs> if you know your Hulk history, you know who it was. 
But be that as it may, agents, uh, this is X7. Uh, that'll be our wrap up of the first two episodes, two years of What If. We will get back to it, as I said. Please like, share, subscribe, vote in the poll, and uh, leave a comment if you'd like. I'd really appreciate it. And I hope you've enjoyed your Hulk sized stack of wheat cakes. I did forget to say that earlier. But until our next assignment, this is X7 signing off. Duck, banner, belted by Dan, the race turns into the Hulk.